All right, everybody, we're back today at configuring in another series of configuring PHP IPAM. I'm going to log into my server and we're going to start on a new subject and it deals around authentication. Now, there are several authentication methods. There's AD and LDAP authentication, which are pretty much the same thing. Um, there are little differences, but Today we're going to talk about AD authentication. So we have to do a few things first before we do any kind of install. One of those things that we need to do first is we need to install LDAP. And I believe in this server it's already installed. And then in order to ensure that um, that's been loaded, we would do a service HTTP restart. Next, we need to make sure that SE Linux is allowing a particular item through, which is HTTPD can connect network off. That should be right about here and we need to set that to on which it is here so to do that we're going to do set se bool can connect as on now obviously this is already done on my server so it's all good to go there next php ipam requires you to set up some sort of basic email now in this, I don't have an email server to send from and to for this test, but to get it moving along, I can just take test user, is it we'll call it, and then test at test.com. And this will get us where we can at least create uh, an Azure um, integration. So next we go back here to our authentication method. We'll go down and create an AD. We need to call it a name. So I'm going to call it AD Connect. Next, it needs to know what your domain controller is. And in my case, my domain controller is this. I'm going to use its IP address right now. Um, and then for my Base DN, I'm going to do this, which is, and then for the um, login info, I will put in for the, sorry, account suck fix, and I can just leave everything basic like this. 636 is a little different, uh, I'll probably do a different video for that. Um, so you hit add, it says the authentication method was done, and we have everything set up here. Now, in order to use this, we have to create a user under and then select AD. So basically, we have to go here, we'll create our user, we'll call it Tom, and we'll call the username T Jones. If I spelled that right. Now, this must match your AD user. Uh, email does not need to, but we'll just say, uh, for a sake of oops, T Jones at uh, if I can do this correctly, um, the user must be enabled the user role. So either as a normal user or an admin, I'm going to make them an admin, it's easier. And then we need to change the authentication method to AD. Now, all that being done, if I hit add, the user should be successful. You notice I didn't put in an email address, so, or sorry, a password. So I'm going to log out. And if this works, I should be able to log in as T. Jones, type in his AD password. And you'll see it had an AD login successful because we made him an admin. He's an administrator. We called him Tom. 
so it's all good to go well that's the end of the video everyone i hope it was i hope it looked that simple as to you as it was for me thank you have a great day